Hello, this is Monica Lynn from Balancing Life, and I'm here today to bring you a short meditation video or audio that you can do at any point in the day when you feel like you need a little bit of time to center yourself, decompress, ground yourself. Studies have shown that when one does progressive muscle relaxation, along with guided meditation, that your heart rate and your blood pressure both decrease and come down. It brings almost all of the parasympathetic system and sympathetic nervous system back down to homeostasis, gets you out of that fight or flight cycle, and brings you back to a calm centered state where you can operate and regulate your emotions and your cognitive function in a much better place. So what I'm going to ask you to do right now is whether you are someplace that you can lay flat on your back on the floor or on a comfortable bed, or if you're even at work and you just need a little break, you can do this in an office chair. If you can stretch your feet out in front of you and slouch down a little bit and have the back of your head against the back of the chair so you're rested and comfortable as possible. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through a multitude of meditation techniques, but pretty quickly. So this is a great thing for beginners. If you start to feel frustrated when we do one particular breathing exercise for too long, people can start to feel like their minds are wandering too fast or they can't focus. And this will actually help because we're not going to do anything for too long, but you can get an idea of different things that you can do and then you can elongate the ones that you really enjoy. So what I want you to do to start with, again, whether you're on your back or in a chair, I just want you to bring your body up into the fetal position as best you can. So if you can wrap your hands around the bottom of the knees and pull them into the chest and tuck the chin to the chest and pull the head towards the knees and flex the feet and hold everything in, in, in and then gently release everything into long body so the legs are extended the toes are pointed the hands go up overhead the fingertips are reaching above your head and the toes are pointing below stretching on either end and then go ahead and bring the knees back into the fetal position pulling everything close 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 together and then stretch out again. Long body into like a long pencil. Stretching the toes down, the fingertips above. And then again, one last time, pull the body into the fetal position, knees to the chest, chin to the chest, feet flexed. And then release all the way long. Legs extended, toes pointed, arms shoot over the top of the head stretch from both ends and then gently bring the hands down to the side on the floor next to you or in your chair and we're going to move to some breathing techniques so the first one I want you to do is just to take a nice easy breath in through the nose and let it out through the mouth and let's do that again breathing in through the nose feeling all the little cilia, the oxygen and air going past the little hairs inside the nose, and then out through the mouth. And one more time as we breathe in, the chest rises, belly rises, expands, and then release. And let the belly fall. And go into some normal breathing, whatever is normal for you. And let's try on this next one. The same thing, but we're just breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. So keeping the lips together, the mouth closed, we're just going to breathe in through the nose, a little bit slower, a little bit more shallow, and out through the nose. Again, in through the nose, and out through the nose. One more time in. And one more time out. And 
And then if you feel comfortable touching your face right now, then you can take your hands on either side of your face, of your nose. And what I want you to do first is with the left hand, I want you to just take any finger on the left hand and just gently shut the left nostril. So we're gonna breathe in through the right nostril. Now with the right hand, close the right nostril and release the left nostril and breathe out. Keeping your hands just like that, we're gonna breathe in through the left nostril and then close the left nostril, release the right nostril and breathe out through the right. Again, in through the right, out through the left, in through the left, out through the right. I just want you to take your time doing a few more of the left, right nostril breaths. And hopefully if you didn't notice with the first two, you'll notice with this last one that you're probably not thinking about a lot other than your breathing. Your mind can kind of float to a place of clarity, finally turning itself down and not thinking. And if you find just because I said that, all of a sudden you're thinking about millions of things, that's just fine. There's no right or wrong way to do meditation. It's simply an awareness practice. So whatever you find that you're noticing is exactly what you should be noticing right now. So that last set of breathing, you can go ahead and take your hands down to your side. And the last set of breath work with the right and left nostril is an interesting one because the right nostril is more of the sympathetic nervous system where we are going into or preparing for fight or flight. And the left nostril is the parasympathetic, which helps bring everything back down to homeostasis. So you may want to try at some point when you're awake in the middle of the night or in the morning without an alarm and you just put your finger under your nose and see which nostril you seem to be breathing out of more. More often when we're relaxed, we're breathing out of the, in and out of the left nostril. And when we are more activated, we breathe out of the right and if you're breathing equally out of both, then generally you're in pretty good balance with both the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Just an interesting little fact. And now what I want you to do is to just allow your mind to go to a really beautiful place in your mind, whether that's a beach or a ski slope or a lake, or a field of flowers. I just want you to imagine that beautiful scene in your head for a minute. And while you create that visual with all the colors that you would see, the hues of light, I want you to just do a quick body scan starting from the bottoms of your feet. And just feel if the bottoms of your feet have any aches or pains or tingles and work your way up sort of like a Xerox machine that's just reading the piece of paper that it's about to copy. You're gonna take like a light that shines up over the toes and the fronts of the feet, over the ankles, up the shins, over the knees and thighs. And pause there for a moment and just see if there's any tension and relax the legs. And then bring that light up over the hips and the abdomen, all of the essential organs up over your chest, shoulders, zipping up with the hands and the forearms and the biceps and triceps, all the way up to the bottom of the neck and then over the top of the head. And then allow that light to let go and release and just notice your body fall deeper and heavier into a relaxed state. And then just for a moment, I want you to pause 
and I'm going to ask several questions about your health and I want you to stop and think if it's something you feel like you're doing well or if it's something that you want to add one little improvement to in this next week. So if you think about how much water you're drinking, just plain water to help detoxify and keep your kidneys and liver and everything filtered clean. Notice to yourself if you feel like you need to improve that or if you're doing well. And then when you think about the source of your proteins, are you getting protein in every meal? Eggs and lean meats, beans, legumes, lentils, fish, whatever it is that you use for protein, are you getting that at every single time you sit down to eat? Or do you need to make sure you are more conscious of that? And if you think of breakfast, lunch, and dinner, are you getting fruits and vegetables in at every single meal? Or do you need to improve that? We're shooting for two cups of vegetables at every dinner time. And if you're not doing that, maybe that's something simple that you can start working on. Are you moving every day? Do you have movement or exercise? dog walks or workouts, whatever it is you do, are you getting that in to where you are getting consistent with doing that every single day to help keep the immune system boosted? Or is that something you need to challenge yourself to incorporate a little bit more? Are you stretching? Are you taking a few moments in your day to stretch and elongate the muscles? Whether that's in bed in the morning or in front of the TV at night, or maybe partway through your day, just to take a few moments to stretch things out, elongate what was contracted, get your range of motion and posture improved. And pause and think about your social needs. Are you finding enough emotional connection enough positivity in your interactions with others? Or do you need to reach out to a friend via phone or some type of app so that you can gain a little positive, healthy connection to be seen and heard by another human that cares about you? Just notice again if your body feels relaxed or if it tensed up a bit. And if it's tensed, then just ask it to gently relax. And let's go back to one belly breath. So big breath in, belly rises, chest rises. And breathe out through the mouth. And let it fall. And before we close, I just want to thank you for taking the time for yourself it's really hard to slow down and wind down and take this time to center yourself, to empower your body, to utilize the nutrients you give it in an efficient way so that you don't hold on to weight, to keep your focus and your center of control over putting what you want in your system rather than feeling at the mercy of your vices like caffeine or alcohol or sugar. Everything in moderation is just fine, but feeling that moment during these meditative moments to kind of reserve that that control is within you and you get to do what you want with your intake. And just reminding yourself of the powerful feelings that can come from really intentionally walk walking through your day in ways that put your health first and foremost. And if you haven't already, just let your eyes open and adjust to the light. And maybe stretch your hands up over your head one more time. Stick the chest out, elongate the abdomen, point the toes, and then take a breath. And release yourself to go on with whatever it is you need to do 
for the rest of the day or evening. Thanks so much for being here with me.